Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to wrap all my fabrics. So at the moment, I currently have them in my wardrobe. They're either on coat hangers or they're just folded up in a pile and I absolutely hate the way they look. They come out all wrinkly when I try to cut them, so then I have to iron them before I cut them and it's just a huge process. Anyway, so I want them to be more aesthetically pleasing. I want them to be maybe on a bit of a display. I haven't decided whether I'm going to keep them in the wardrobe on some racks that I have in there or have a, another cupboard somewhere else in here to have them on display. I know it's not very good to have fabrics um, in direct sunlight, so if I do have them on display, I might have to put them along this wall somewhere or make sure that I close the curtains regularly. Anyway, so what I'm going to use to wrap my fabrics is I found this A3 foam at a craft store. Um, they're only a couple of dollars each and I can get three out of it. And so I thought these would be handy for my thicker fab fabrics like velvets and things like that, ones that are a bit heavier. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use these foam boards. And then I also have this card, which is 500, um, what is it? It's 500 GSM. So it's really, really thick card. And it's actually a little bit thicker than comic book backing. So I know that's a cheaper way of doing it. Uh, but they're so hard to get in the size that I want, which is either, I think it's called the modern or current size, um, or the magazine um, backing boards are really hard to find as well. I have contacted a few local um, a few local comic book, book stores and they don't have any and it will be a couple of weeks before they get any more. I know you can order them online but I really don't want to wait so this is what I'm going to do and I know that I can get eight out of this. So they'll be a little bit bigger than the normal size comic book lengths which is what I want as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Before I start wrapping the fabrics, I am actually just going to clean up my craft room because it's a bit of a mess <laughs> um, and I want a nice clean work surface. So I am going to clean up first and then we will get straight into wrapping the fabric. I found a picture we took many years ago. Okay, so this is what we are working with now. It's just a little bit tidier. I mean, it's still not perfect, but it's much better now. I also the other day got a cutting mat, which I'm so excited about. I've already used it and it makes cutting so much easier. I don't know why I've waited so long to get a cutting mat. This is what the wardrobe looks like at the moment. So my plan is to use this rack of shelving here. So that's my fabric pile there and some of them hanging up. I might still leave some hanging up yet, I'm not quite sure. And down the bottom in that little box there is where I keep my bows. I like to recycle boxes that I get packages in. Anyway, so I'm going to cut up those boards now and get wrapping. Okay, so the plan is to cut these foam boards into three. So they're about 42 centimeters, I think. So I should be able to make them about 14 centimeters wide. So I'm just gonna measure that out and then I'm going to just use a Stanley knife to cut it. These had the most annoying stickers on them. So I think you can probably, well, you guys might not be able to, but it was like this massive square and it was so sticky. I don't know why they put such sticky stickers on them. It was so annoying. <laughs> Okay, 
okay, so that's what they're going to look like. Super easy to cut through as well. Oh, this sticker is like the bane of my existence. It's, oh, I honestly, I don't know why you'd make such a large sticker for one. And two, why would you make it so sticky? This is the last one that I have to peel off and it is proving to be the most difficult. So I'm actually thinking about just leaving this one to last and coming back to it at a later date because it is driving me insane. So I'm going to, yeah, leave that one for now, I think. And I might just move on to cutting the card. Um, look how tiny this sticker is, okay? This is the kind of sticker you want on your card or your foam or anything like that, honestly. That sticker is so hard to get off. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to measure this out. I can get eight out of this one. Um, and I managed to get three out of the foam. Cut out my foam boards minus that one with the sticker on it. <laughs> and I've cut out a bunch of the cardstock. And now we're just going to wrap everything. This is actually one of my favorite fabrics. This is the one I actually have in my hair at the moment. It just makes the most gorgeous little scrunchies. They're so thick and plush. But then I can't get it back, my be Time for me to face the facts The best me is with you But I know I got a lot to prove They think we're too damaged to fix But we're just working through a little rust They like to say we're just young But I know we won't give this up Sometimes I lose my mind So I ended up finding this four cube uh, shelving and so I have decided to put the fabrics in this as I started putting them in the wardrobe and I just didn't like the way they were looking so I'm hoping this will look a lot better. Here are all my fabrics all folded up and ready to be stacked. I found a picture we took many years ago to you we would never grow old messages i've saved that i never send because i don't know you but i used to back then i remember that i was drunk out my mind when we kissed for the first time in the back of your car we passed out counting stars promised all these years we pack our things and disappear i never thought i would see you after all this time
Okay, so I'm so happy with the way this looks. But now I have decided I need a lot more fabric. <laughs> so that might be a problem, but yeah, I am so happy with the way that has turned out. I'm pretty sure I've got it in a pretty good color coordination. Um, yeah, so really happy with that. Okay guys, so that concludes today's video. If you liked this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below as it really helps support my channel and it also lets me know the kinds of videos you guys like to see. I am off to spotlight. <laughs> no, I'm totally joking. I'm not going to spotlight. Although I would love to, but yeah, I have so much work to do for my up and coming market. So that's my plan for the rest of the day. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next one.